Hi, my name is Sean Farrell, and welcome to the June 2022 edition of This Month at the Library. I'll be walking you through this month's events here at the Avalon Free Public Library and the Avalon History Center, along with other area news and programs, and at the end I'll highlight some of the new books and movies arriving at the library in June. So make sure to stick around for that, but first, in library news. The History Center kicks off their June programming at 1 p.m. on Saturday the 4th with The Lighthouses of New Jersey, a discussion of lighthouse history, structure, and characteristics. Topics include lighthouse keepers, governance, purpose, and how weather affects lighthouses. Historical facts about New Jersey lighthouses and keepers who were women will be highlighted. This program will take place in the 39th Street Tennis Building. The winners and entrants of this year's Avalon Historical Society Photography Contest will be on display in the History Center beginning on Tuesday, June 7th through Thursday, June 30th. Stop by to see all of the fantastic photos submitted this year. On Wednesday, June 8th at 10 a.m. at the 39th Street Tennis Building, the Library, along with the Avalon Environmental Commission, will present How to Create a Pollinator Garden. This indoor slide program with a robust Q&A session at the end will be a perfect introduction to the outdoor Avalon Pollinator Garden Lectures series. Pat Sutton, a working naturalist and wildlife habitat and conservation gardening educator for over 40 years, will cover the basic how-tos for creating a pollinator-friendly garden and yard that will attract and benefit butterflies, moths, bees, hummingbirds, and more. This series will continue on June 14th at 9.30 a.m. at Armacost Park with All About Pollinators. Pat will focus on pollinators and the crucial role they play and will showcase resources she uses to ID, understand, and enjoy beneficial pollinators. Learn how healthy pollinator habitats host multiple generations each year, and don't forget to bring your binoculars. On Thursday, June 9th at 2 p.m., Kathy Zane will show you how to use your iPhone to take photos and make them even better with the available editing tools. Photos can be enhanced, cropped, lightened, colorized, and much more. June's Art House Film Night will take place on the 13th at 5 p.m. The featured movie is Lunana, A Yak in the Classroom, which was the small nation of Bhutan's first feature to be nominated for an Academy Award. It tells the story of a disillusioned school teacher who is transferred to the most remote school in the world, cut off from modern life deep in the Himalayan glaciers. In a classroom with no electricity or even a blackboard, he finds himself with only a yak and a song that echoes through the mountains. In my review for AFPLJournal.com, I called it a sweet little movie with endearing characters that will bring a smile to your face while it steals your heart. This film is not rated but contains mild language. American sports writer, author, screenwriter, radio personality, and sports commentator, and a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Ray Didinger will be visiting Avalon on Saturday, June 18th at 6 p.m. to discuss his latest of 11 books, Finished Business, My 50 Years of Headlines, Heroes, and Heartaches. He is also a graduate of Temple University, a full-time member of NBC Sports, and a commentator on WIPFM in Philadelphia. This event will be held at Surfside Park. Who's that lady with the guitar? Why, it's Jen Stewart, ready to share music and songs with kids and their families. Are you ready to sing along with Jen? Then come visit the 39th Street Tennis Building on Monday, June 20th at 10 a.m. Everyone likes to visit the beach, but what do you know about the plants and animals that live there? Meet at 48th Street and Dune Drive in Avalon every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. from June 22nd through August 31st for an interpretive walk with a naturalist along the Maritime Forest and Dune Trails to learn about the flora and fauna that call this area their home, presented by the Wetlands Institute. Lego Thursdays return starting on June 23rd at 10 a.m. and running through August 25th. The library will supply the Legos, you supply the imagination. Groups will work together to design and assemble a new project each session. Please leave your Legos at home so that you don't lose your favorite pieces. All ages welcome. Participants under the age of eight should be accompanied by a caregiver. The History Center will host a family event at the 39th Street Tennis Building on Thursday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. about the Lenape of New Jersey. This presentation offers many Lenape artifacts, native flute music, Q&A time, and also moves the discussion back in time to discuss paleo people in New Jersey and geological changes here that would have affected the native people. The Avalon Historical Society will host their annual Old House Tour on Friday, June 24th at 1 p.m. This is a ticketed event that begins from the Avalon History Center at 215 39th Street. Call 609-967-0090 for event and ticket details. Representatives from the Wetlands Institute will join us at the library on June 27th at 10 a.m. to present a fun and interactive explanation of the living habits of local sea animals. Afterwards, participants will get hands-on time with the animals, recommended for grades K through 6. 
The History Center's Kids Mini Camps return on June 28th at 10 a.m. with an event focusing on the Avalon Beach Patrol. Our young patrons are invited for a morning at the museum with special guests from the Avalon Beach Patrol and fun activities. This event is suggested for ages 8 through 12. Attendees under 8 must be accompanied by an adult caregiver. Paper Peddler Trivia Night returns to the Avalon History Center on Tuesday, June 28th at 7 p.m. Bring a team of friends and demonstrate your knowledge of Avalon's history and culture in a Quizzo-inspired trivia game. Prizes will be awarded to the winning teams. Call 609-967-0090 to reserve a table for your team of up to four people. On Wednesday, June 29th at 5 p.m., take an up-close look at the physiology of some of our local marine species in Fish, Fins, and More, presented by Daniel Meeker, aquarist and environmental educator at the Wetlands Institute. She will present a discussion of what makes a fish a fish. The lecture will dive deeper into fish anatomy and learn what makes each fish unique and successful in its habitat. Using live examples, we will examine some common fish species and discuss how anatomy dictates their niche in the ocean environment. Live animals would include black bass, oyster toads, tautog, mummy chogs, and more. On Thursday, June 30th at 11 a.m. at Surfside Park, Russ Norcross of Blue Line Canine Cape May will speak about dog marker training, a simple way of communicating behavior that is correct and desired by the handler. It is a science-based teaching method that simplifies communication with the dog with wanted outcomes. On June 2nd, between 10 a.m. and noon, the county will conduct a test of its Code Red system. This is a reverse 911 system that was established to notify residents in case of a major storm or disaster and currently has more than 140,000 enrollees across its phone call, text message, and email services. An ad campaign and a public awareness campaign, campaign will take place ahead of June 2nd to make sure residents know it is a test and the message itself will make clear that no actual emergency is taking place. If you would like to sign up to receive these alerts, you can do so at capemaycountynj.gov slash 149 slash emergency dash management. <clears throat> The Stone Harbor Farmer's Market will take place every Sunday all month long from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at Water Tower Plaza, located on the corner of 95th Street and 2nd Avenue. Visitors can shop a variety of local and specialty produce, baked goods, fresh seafood, flowers, gourmet foods, spices, and sauces, and even unique drinks. For more information, call 609-368-5102 or visit www.shnj.org. The Avalon Garden Club's 38th Annual Flower Show will be held on Saturday, June 11th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Avalon Community Hall. This year's theme is Island Paradise, and attendees will vote for their favorite exhibit in each class up until 2 p.m., with awards being handed out at 3 p.m. The public are encouraged to participate as exhibitors and can find out how to do so at avalongardenclub.org. Gift basket raffle tickets will also be available. American Legion Post 331 will host their annual Flag Day ceremony and open house on June 14th. The Flag Day ceremonies will begin at noon with a swearing-in of newly elected officers, followed by an open house and tours of the historical building located at 117th Street and 2nd Avenue in Stone Harbor. The Avalon Lions Club will be hosting a pancake breakfast at Avalon Community Hall from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturday, June 18th. Admission is $10 for adults and $8 for children and includes pancakes, bacon, sausage, and all the delicious breakfast fixings. You can visit www.avalonlions.com for more information. The Avalon Lions Club will also be holding their 13th annual Golf Classic on June 26th at 11 a.m. at Avalon Golf Club. Join the Lions for this annual event for a day on the green with lunch, dinner, auction items, guest appearances, and more. Head to www.avalonlions.com for more information. The Avalon Beach movies for 2022 kick off on Tuesday, June 28th at 8 p.m. with Spider-Man No Way Home. With Spider-Man's identity now revealed, Peter asks Doctor Strange for help. When a spell goes wrong, dangerous foes from other worlds start to appear, forcing Peter to discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. In the event of inclement weather, this event will be moved to Wednesday night. The Thursdays at Surfside Summer Concert Series returns on June 30th at 7 p.m. Bring your beach chairs to Surfside Park and enjoy the sounds of Jimmy and the Parrots. Beer and wine will be available for sale, sponsored by the Avalon Chamber of Commerce. And now, here are some of the books coming to the library this month. In Tracy Flick Can't Win, Tom Parada revisits the iconic protagonist of his hit novel, Election. Now working as a high school assistant principal in suburban New Jersey, Tracy is vying to take over the principal's position. Nightcrawling by Leela Motley is about a young black woman who walks the streets of Oakland and stumbles headlong into the failure of its justice system. 
After a loud screen causes the Boston Public Library to enter lockdown, four strangers pass the time in conversation. Each was there for different reasons, but one happens to be a murderer in Solari Gentil's The Woman in the Library. In Sandra Newman's The Men, every person with a Y chromosome mysteriously vanishes one day, leaving those who remain to try to rebuild society while coping with devastating grief. The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager follows recently widowed actress Casey Fletcher, who is hiding out in her family's Vermont lake house and winds up befriending a glamorous couple in another home. But when one of them goes missing, she suspects foul play. And a look at some of the great movies coming this month. Jared Leto stars as Morbius, a doctor with a rare blood disorder who tries an experimental treatment on himself and winds up unleashing a darkness from inside. In the highly acclaimed Everything Everywhere All at Once, an aging Chinese immigrant is swept up in an, in an insane adventure where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes, connecting with the lives she could have led. Ambulance is the latest from director Michael Bay and stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as adoptive brothers who tried to pull off the biggest bank heist in Los Angeles history. Father Stu stars Mark Wahlberg in this true story about an ex-boxer who becomes a Catholic priest after surviving a terrible motorcycle accident. The unbearable weight of massive talent sees Nicolas Cage playing himself. Due to pending financial ruin, he is forced to accept $1 million to attend the birthday party of a superfan and gets wrapped up in a dangerous game. Foreign Language Academy Award nominee The Worst Person in the World chronicles four years in the life of Julia as she looks for love and meaning in the modern world. That's it for this month. Have a happy June, and I'll see you in the library.